today I'm going to go through all the gearing mechanisms and clutches and everything else on the road rider as I promised I would do that in one of my earlier videos. Okay, so to start off with I'll give you another brief history of the vehicle. It is a John Fowler Motorola 1933. The engine, however, is a Perkins P4 that was put in around the 1950s when it moved here to the farm. Well, on this side of the engine, we've got the starter motor and the alternator. It's electric start, which makes life a lot easier. You could get the Perkins P4 as a hand start, and there is a handle at the top, which is this handle here, that you can decompress the cylinders to make it turn over easily and then whack it down once you're up to speed. Uh, starter motor acts on this flywheel by this gear here. If we go around the other side, we got our main fuel in. I've had to replace this pipe recently because it started leaking. So you've got your fuel filter, primer pump, main fuel pump, bleeder valve and all your fuel lines up to your injectors which are over the top which you can't see. That is your uh, oil filter, that's where you put your oil in, of the big fan at the front. Uh, straight for acting onto the flywheel, going into the gearbox flyer if I can you, I have a torch here somewhere. There we go. You got two dampers. That material, a lot of a soft, squidgy foam. And that acts, so that takes the drive from the engine back into your splitter. We go up to the top, add the floor plate up so you can see later on. So that sends motion back into this chamber here, and that splits the drive between forward going down that way and reverse on the shaft going down that way. So we'll come back outside again. So the driver comes back onto this clutch mechanism. So the motion comes through the centre of the shaft onto the clutch. And the way this works is that big handle up there, when you push that forwards, it pushes this rod out, which pushes this in, which pushes this mechanism in. It then pushes the clutch pads out like that. And the way it works is it pushes it out and then goes slightly past halfway to lock it in place. So when it's locked in place, obviously the pads act on the outer drum, which then puts the motion back through the outer shaft. Now we'll go back around the other side and underneath so as I said engine through those two bits into your splitter either side forward reverse so through there to your clutch through the inner shaft and through an outer shaft back to this point here and see if I can show you up in there I don't think I can show you on here you can't see that easily there's a gear that gear oh, pigeons anyway so that gear acts on to this gear also as that outer shaft is linked all the way through, and no, it's not, it's not linked all the way through. Yeah, it comes back through there, 
acts on that gear and acts on that gear on your full drive and if you reverse and it's acting through the inner shaft there to that clutch back out to that gear onto this gear these two big gears are connected to this shaft here so that runs at a constant speed and on the on the shaft you've got so two big gears and then you've got two smaller gears. You've got this one over here which is your fast speed gear, that one there. And on the other side you've got your slow speed gear, that one. So this, so on this shaft all the gears are fixed solid to that shaft. And then the motion is transferred to the back shaft, which I shall go around the other side to show you. That's more easier. Right. So, so I'm out of it. That gear there. And that gear there floats on that shaft, so it's not fixed on there at all. This side being a slow gear, that side being a fast. And in the centre we have our dog clutch in the middle. And that is fixed, that makes contact with the shaft via, so zoom in, You can just about see the splines on that shaft and there's splines on the inside of the selector gear as that transfers the motion from the floating gears so through the dog clutch onto the selector which then drives onto the main shaft the gears are operated by the steve up here slow and fast so just take out the pin move it to neutral and because it is a straight dog clutch you need to have it so the mechanism is all lined up which it isn't always so quite often you have to put it in neutral get the gears turning until it lines up and then you can select the other gear See, the selector acts down to that, pushes that, which then pushes that, which then pushes this selector down here, which pushes it side to side via that copper slip ring down there. And once the motion is transferred to the inner shaft, that is then transferred to the outside down to your main drive gear down there that transfers the motion from the main drive gear to your differential which is this big cog down here and from the diff transfers onto the wheels which then gives you your drive and that is basically how all the gearing works.